Hi, I'm Erica Thompson, and I'm taking the AV and Office Equipment and Materials course at Red River College. And for assignment four today, I'm going to show you how to maintain and operate a slide projector. The materials that you're going to need are a can of compressed air, a damp soft cloth, a pair of gloves, lens cleaner and a lens cloth, isopropyl rubbing alcohol, and cotton swabs. The first step to performing maintenance on the projector is to flip it over and remove the protective cover plate. Next, you're going to want to know how to change a burnt out lamp. First, you, can pre you press down on this wire mechanism and slide it out and then pull it backwards and it loosens the lamp, which is then easily removed and you can replace it with a fresh lamp by lining up these prongs with this plastic component here and bringing the wire mechanism back and locking it in place. Next, for cleaning, you're going to start with your can of compressed air and you're going to spray the reflecting mirror and the fan. Next, you're going to want to remove the condenser lens and the heat absorbing lens. To do that, you again press this wire mechanism, push it forward, and move it out of place. Now you're going to want to put on a, a clean glove because you don't want to get any fingerprints on the lenses. And starting with the heat absorbing lens, remove it from the casing. Spray it with air. Spray it with the lens cleaner. And wipe it with the cleaning rag. And set that aside while you clean the condensing lens in the same manner. Remove it from the projector. Spray it with air. Spray with the lens cleaner. And wipe with the lens cloth. Now place the lenses back into place in the projector. They'll line in with slots on the bottom. And lock into place. And with the still damp cleaning lens cleaning cloth, wipe down the mirror inside as well. Now you can close the cover plate and we'll turn the projector upright to show how to clean the focusing lens and aperture. What you have to do is turn the focusing knob until the lens comes as far out as it will go and it'll click. Then push it to the side and pull the lens out. Take a cotton swab and dip it in the rubbing alcohol and wipe down the aperture. And then wipe with the dry end of the cotton swab. Next, take the compressed air and spray the lens. Then squirt lens cleaner onto the tissue and wipe the lens down. And then wipe dry with a dry part of the tissue. Replace the lens by pushing the 
the focusing knob to the right and lining it up and sliding it back into place. The last step is to tape the damp cloth and wipe down the housing. and the cord. And next I'll show you the proper steps to operate a slide projector. To operate your slide projector, you're going to need a slide carousel tray. The first thing you're going to want to do is check the bottom of the tray and make sure that the plate is locked firmly into position. If it is, it won't rotate. Flip the tray over and you're going to want to remove the locking ring. Turn counterclockwise and pull up. This will allow you to put your slides into the tray. Take your slide and each tray is numbered so that you're able to put the slides in in the proper order and place it upside down and backwards into the tray and this will ensure that it will project upright and the right way around on the screen. Take the locking ring, place it on top of the tray and turn clockwise and this will lock the slides in place. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your lens and insert it into the projector. and connect the slide projector to your power supply. Next, you're going to want to turn on the fan. Then take your carousel tray, place it on top of the projector at the zero or start position, and it will lock firmly into place. Next, turn on the lamp. and you're going to want to adjust the elevation foot which is located on a bottom and you turn the dial located on the front of the machine to raise it so that your image will be projected on the screen and focus the image and size on the screen next connect your remote control to the back of the machine and use the control to change the slides. Pressing the forward button to project the first slide and again for the second and the third. You can also use the remote control to focus the machine. That way you don't need to be beside the machine to focus or change slides. To move the slides back into first position or start position when you're finished, Press the reverse button, and now it's back in the first position. You can also press the select button and turn the tray to zero, because this, this will unlock the tray from the machine, and you can rotate it freely. Once you're finished projecting your slides, all you have to do is turn the power off. Focus the image after inserting the lens and elevating the legs so that it's in the center of the screen. Just turn the focus knob until the picture becomes 